Hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to Gaming with Kitty. Today we're gonna do the killer tutorial. I've been playing this game, but I have never done killer, how to play killer tutorials. I've only done the survival tutorial, so um, I want to take a look at what it looks like and if I'm missing anything or something. Tutorials, how to win. The main objective of a killer is to sacrifice survivor to the entity. In order to achieve this objective, a killer should do the following. Patrol the area and find survivors, of course. Chase, injure, catch survivors before they escape. And meanwhile, survivors will attempt to repair five generators to power the two exit gate and make their escape. Patrolling. When the trial begins, the first thing most killer would try to do is to locate some survivors. There are seven generators in a typical trial. If the survivor managed to repair five generators or the in-game collapse is triggered, the exit gate regain power and may be opened, allowing the survivor to escape. Damaging generator. Killers can damage generators that have been partially repaired. Hunting loud noises. The entity has granted its killer enhanced senses and the ability to pinpoint survivors who make noise. When a survivor fails a skill check or rush in action, the killer receives a visual loud noise signal. This visual effect indicate the loud noise source location. Hunting. Scratch marks. Rending survivors leave tracks only the killer can see. These tracks last a few seconds before they fade and can be very helpful for locating and tracking survivors. A skilled killer notice any noises made by nearby survivors. Try hard to listen out for heavy breathing, footsteps, cracking branches. Following these audio cues efficiently might lead you straight to a survivor. Bloodstain. Another way for killer to track survivors is by following the bloodstain that they leave behind while injured or dying. Bloodstains are harder to see than scratch marks but are more accurate and the survivor cannot stop bleeding until they're healed. Except Dave's perk. No matter I think it doesn't leave blood stained for how long or something? Chase. When survivors are located by the killer, they are usually tempted to run and hide. The pursuit that allows is called the chase. Most killers are faster than a survivor, but survivors are small, nimble, and have many tricks that they can use to gain distant foot obstacles in killer's way and break the line of sight. Bloodlust. As the chase progresses, killers develop a boiling bloodlust. Bloodlust, a status effect that grants the killer increased speed. Bloodlust becomes stronger the longer a chase continues to a maximum of level 3. Bloodlust subsides when the chase ends, is successfully hit, or a pallet is broken. Bolt's pallet. Voting is an action of going through a window or over a pallet. Survivors can vault a window slowly and quietly, or quickly and loudly. By running straight at the window, survivor can pick up some extra speed for their vaulting. Most killer are not in a hurry, only have one window vault speed slow. Pallets are found around the map and can be dropped by survivors to create obstacles for killer. Killers cannot vault over pallets, but they can take time to destroy them by interact with them. Except for Legion! Health state. Survivors have three health state, healthy, injured, and dying. Healthy. The health state in which survivors start. Successfully attacking a healthy survivor put them in the injured state. Injured. Even though they limp, injured survivors have the same movement speed as when healthy. They leave behind trail of blood and make a lot of noises which make them easier to find. Dying. Survivors in dying state can only crawl and are unable to interact or complete objectives. However, they are still able to escape, hatch, or gate. Crawling survivors can be picked up and placed on the hook to be sacrificed, of course. If not healed, they will eventually bleed out and die. Attacking. The killer can perform two basic attacks, a quick attack and a launch attack. 
The quick attack is performed by simply activating the attack interaction. As the name implies, it is quick but has a very short range. The launch attack is performed by holding down the attack interaction. Ah, I see. It provides greater rage but can take some practice to master. Of course, everything takes practice. Missing an attack triggers a short cooldown during which the killer's speed is reduced. Killers must be careful to properly aim and time their attacks or risk allowing survivors to escape. Hitting unhealthy survivors grants them a brief burst of speed. Keep a close eye on their movement during this time in order to continue the pursuit. Yes, ma'am. Interrupts. Many survivors' actions can be interrupted, giving the killers a free grab and pick up. To initiate an interrupt, tap the attacked action at close range while the survivor is occupied. Injured survivor can be interrupted while plotting. Launch attack do not trigger interrupts. I see. So all those times I thought I was lagging, that means the killer is just launching a launch attack? arranged one transporting a survivor once the killer catches the survivor their next goal is to carry them to a sacrificial hook while being carried the survivor can wiggle 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 my way out of my responsibility whatever attempt to break free their struggles will affect the killer's movement the killer will eventually succeed and escape oh wait what the survivors will eventually succeed and escape the killer's grasp so there is a limit time to transport the survivor Fortunately, killers are able to see the aura of available hooks while they are carrying the survivors. Watching out for other survivors while transporting a victim as any actions that stuns or blind a killer will free any carried survivors. Yes, I know that well. Hooks and sacrifice. The ultimate goal of the killer is to sacrifice survivors to the entity. Once a survivor is hung on a sacrificial hook, the sacrifice sequence will begin. It has three phases. Phase one, summoning phase. And then its phased entity is being summoned to the hook and takes some time to manifest. Hooked survivors can be rescued or attempted to free themselves from the hook. These attempts have a 4% chance of success and failure escalate to the summoning process. Phase two, struggle phase. Once the entity has been manifested itself around the hook, survivors can no longer attempt to free themselves. Ooh, they can only struggle to survive. They may still be rescued by other survivors. Third phase is a sacrifice phase. The entity will eventually overpower the hooked survivors and devour them. The hook itself is destroyed at the end of the sacrifice sequence. A killer who sacrifices all four survivors in the trial will earn Entity's favor. Disabled Hook. A hook can be destroyed under certain circumstances. Sabotage. Sacrifice. Survivors can use toolbox or perks to destroy hooks. Sacrifice. A successful sacrifice destroy the hook that was used. Basement hooks cannot be destroyed. The basement. Every level features an underground chamber called the basement. Survivors should fear being hooked there, as it is not an easy accessible location and features only one way in or out, making rescues particularly risky. Though it can often prove difficult to carry a survivor to the basement before they escape the killer's grasp, it is in attractive locations to perform the sacrifice, whereas other hooks can be sabotaged, the central basement hooks cannot be disabled or destroyed in any way. The exit gate. If survivors manage to repair five generators, two exit gates will become accessible. If this happened, the exit locations are shown to all players. Killers can use their knowledge of the exit gate location to predict survivors' movement and catch them in the final stretch. Survivors must hold down the switch to open the, the gate before they can escape, which is a time-consuming action and a great opportunity for the killer. Opening powered exit gates would trigger the end game collapse, encouraging survivors to leave the trial or be forcefully sacrificed to the entity when time expires. Memento Mori. Memento Mori's are killer's specific offering. 
which influenced the entity in allowing killers to kill survivors with their own hands instead of sacrificing them. Memento Moris are a reward from the entity, an efficient way to deal with risky survivors, but killers should not rely on them too often. Without sacrifice, the entity will eventually become displeased. Powers and add-ons Killers cannot change their power, however, they can customize it. Killers may equip up to two power add-ons in the layout before the trial. At the end of the trial, any add-ons that were equipped are consumed. Survivor awareness. Killers should be aware of the methods survivors can use to locate them. Most killers are very large, making them quite easy to see. But there are some other aspects to survivor perceptions that are important to keep in mind. Third person view. The survivors have a wide third person perspective. The survivor player is able to see behind their characters and around corners. Terror radiance. Survivors hear a heartbeat when the killer approaches. The closer the killer is, the more intense the heartbeat. The stain. Survivors can see in bright light emits in front of the killer. The stain can give away the killer's position as well as the direction in which they are looking. Consult the survivor's action of this guide to learn more about survivor abilities. We are done! Now we are going to do the actual tutorial. Where is it? There it is. Okay. As the entity commands. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetric game that is played in trials between up to four survivors and one murderous killer. As the killer, your main objective is to attack, down, and hook as many survivors as possible. Let's go! Slashing! Killers may injure or down survivors is w with a well-timed blow from their primary weapon. Try not to miss it as it may give them the brave moment they need to escape from you! All right, the voice. Catch meat, sacrifice meat, please the entity. <laughs> Ugh, fuh -fuh. hit. 300. Let me pick you up. Hook the trapped survivors. You are hooked. Struggle state. When a survivor has been uh, stuck on hook for an extended time period of time the entity is summoned forth forcing them to struggle for their life hooking a survivor twice will force them into struggle state immediately or sacrifice them if they're already been in the struggle state sacrifice survivors that die on hook are sacrificed to the entity and are eliminated from the trial Injured health state. Killers may injure or down survivors with well timed blow from their primary weapon. Okay, I've, I've, I've already seen that. Launch attack gives you. Oh, there it is. Launch attack, it gives you slightly lo longer reach to take down survivors from a short distance. Hold down the attack button to launch. Okay. Did I do it? Oh, now you see the difference. So if I hold down the launch attack, it takes like less than half a second. But if I just click it, it's pretty quick. All right, let's find this survivor's summer. He is. Found you. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. No. Got her. Tracking survivors. Killers have several means of tracking and locating survivors. Look out for the scratch marks that survivors leave when they run. Injured and dying survivors also produce noises of pain and anguish and leave a trail of blood that they may lead you directly to their location. The meat, it bleeds.
the boys. We go, little worm. We go. What a brutal game. Damaging generators. The survivor's main objective is to complete repair on generators. Re complete repairs on generators. Open escape and escape. Escalary can slow survivor's progress by kicking partially repaired generators. Kick it. Kick it. Bigger map now. Found you. Don't waste precious time. Find the others quickly. Oh, I already kicked it. Wait, what? Is there a pit? No. Close the 19. Where are you, sneaky little worm? Where are they? What the actual? Hello? Oh! Found you! You're, you're hiding in the locker! Dwayne hiding in the locker. The entity is pleased. Kill more meat. Ooh. Notice the objective information on the bottom left of the screen with the final generator complete switches powered and the can be opened. In most matches there will be a total of five generators to complete to stop the survivor before they can escape. Yes. You know, if we stop wiping our blade on our sleeves, we can catch them much <laughs> faster. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm gonna get you. I've already got them. You can hear Trapper breathing. Killer powers. Every killer has their own individual powers to learn and master. Each killer has a different way to attract and kill their prey. Try them all ex and experiment with different combinations for perks and add-ons. Look at me dance, look at me dance. Not... No. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Oops, I accidentally clicked on the survivor tutorial, which I have already done. Let me get out. Okay. That would be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will try to post more matches of myself playing DVD. Hopefully that I will get good at this game soon. See you in the next one. Bye.